At Tuckerman Ravine, spring is prime time for skiers to experience the thrill of victory or the agony of a spectacular wipeout on these legendary slopes. There's more mud than snow at the beginning of the three-mile trek to the Glacial Bowl on the southeast face of New Hampshire's Mount Washington. You get to the trailhead, you've got this idea in your head about what you're going to do, and you come up here and you find out if you got what it takes. After the hike to the base, it's another hour to make the 1,000-foot climb to the top. There are no ski lifts here. Skiers and snowboarders form slow-moving lines, each person using the footsteps of the person in front like a staircase. All to experience a heart pounding thrill. No two days and no two runs are alike. Another really steep one like Sluice that's not a good beginner run. Rangers warn spring brings its own dangers. Fall up high, you can hit one of those sidewalls. Kind of come, some brutal injuries have happened in there. Um. Many thrill pilgrims say that's all part of the allure. In fact, Tuckerman is considered the birthplace of extreme skiing in the U.S. It's pretty dangerous. It makes it fun, you know. A couple people died up there pretty gnarly. The challenge intimidates even experienced skiers. You know, I started to hyperventilate and I was like, if, if I don't go now, they're going to have to helicopter me down <laughs> off of this mountain. So, but took a deep breath and just went for it. The average snowpack here tops more than 50 feet per year, and the trails, some of the steepest runs in the country. Why thousands will make the journey here until the snow is gone at the end of the month. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.